Yes! When are we gonna shave the top of your head? You wanna do that today? We can do that today. We'll do that today. I'm tired. <laughs> this is why it's not been done yet. Well, I need to go buy some real clippers. So this episode is all about the care and feeding of your infinity bottle. That's uh, right. I actually saw a comment in, in uh, today's episode. Somebody was like, what is this infinity bottle? Yeah. That I've been hearing so it's much It's sort about. of like pet rock, but full of alcohol. Right. <laughs> so, so infinity bottle uh, is just a really fancy name for a bottle that you put whiskey into. There's different ways to do an infinity bottle. Okay, so one way is right. when you get down to the point where there's just not really anything left, you dump it into a bottle. Sure. The other way is to create an ongoing live blend. I know more ways than you. I've been researching this for decades. <laughs> decades. Decades. <laughs> decades. Decades of experience. Okay, what's another way? Have been tapped into. Well, here, here's the thing. I asked the Whiskey Tribe, I asked the Magnificent ah, Bastards. I said, well, hey, then. we all know an infinity bottle is something that, you know, it's a bottle that you like, mm -hmm. that you put whiskey into. And really the main purpose is to create a nice blend of whiskeys that you know you like. Yeah, you start with the bottle. If it was me, I would probably pick the Hibiki bottles. The Hibiki bottle is a cool yeah. bottle. Go ahead and get that bottle. Look at this. That is, that's a work of art, man. The cork is super fancy. Yeah. Now, the bottle choice here, there's a few different considerations. One is the shape of the bottle. You want it to look cool. Most people are displaying this. Yeah. The other thing is the size of the bottle. It's gotta have room. It's gotta have room. If you plan on basically having a blend, an infinity bottle blend put together of a meaningful size. Yep. Now that being said, if you're not going to be adding to the infinity bottle that often, just maybe an ounce or a half ounce yeah, every few weeks. smaller the better. Because same rules apply like any other whiskey. Evaporation becomes a thing. Evaporation becomes a thing. Yeah. Uh, now for safety purposes, it's preferable to have a synthetic cork because this thing is going to be opened and closed a lot. Yeah. And real corks don't stand up that well to that kind of work. The bottle choice is kind of up to how often you're going to fill it and yep. your stylistic preferences. <laughs> now, what are you going to add to it? My experience having created now uh, probably uh, 15 Blindageddons, mm -hmm. <laughs> is that it doesn't take much of a weird whiskey to right. ruin everything. Sure. Right. So you do need to be careful about what you blend into this. Right. So know that, obviously, Isla Scotch is going to destroy anything in there. Mm -hmm. Know that uh, a really young bourbon that's got those leather notes and pine notes that we don't like, mm -hmm. that will make everything in the bottle taste that way. Sure. Uh, so what a lot of people do is they start multiple infinity bottles. Mm -hmm. That's a uh, good idea. Uh, I see a lot of people just have two, though. They have uh, a sweet whiskey infinity bottle, where if it's not super smoky aggressive, they're putting sweet whiskeys in there. I get and then that. they have like a smoky whiskey infinity bottle. Um, but if you just want to throw caution to the wind, uh, the chaotic method is just, you know what? Treat it like a little bit of a dump bucket. If it's a whiskey you own, put some in there. So I'm going to start this one. Yeah. I'm going to start our infinity bottle with Ooh. what's left of the Ben Rick. Almost like a artificial cranberry. The biggest problem that most people have with infinity bottles is pretty obvious not emptying the infinity bottle. Treat infinity bottles like you would like your $300 special occasion whiskey. Yeah. Right? Which is, my dad and I, and right when we hang out, mm -hmm. we have a, a decent whiskey selection. We always get in the house, pour a glass of the fancy stuff. Mm -hmm. Then we close the bottle and leave it in the house. Right. Do it like that. Don't bring the bottle to the table. Hey guys, I got an infinity bottle. Like, no, no, no. Give everybody a little taste, yep. put it away. When it comes to making sure you're not emptying the bottle faster than it's getting filled up. A lot of people use like a line kind of method. They'll put a line either halfway or a third of the way or two thirds of the way and they will uh, basically tell themselves we're not gonna drink anything until it gets up to that line. Um, some people, uh, they wanna- It's a lot of responsibility. It's a lot of responsibility, it's a lot of self-discipline there. I found our second bottle. Yeah? Yeah! The Booker's. Booker, a really kind of expensive bourbon. But it's getting low. Mm -hmm. uh, here's another thing that you could do. Yeah. Here's uh, one that I've done before. Sure. It just takes a long time, mm -hmm. or you can do it with friends. It'll move faster. Yeah. Take a full bottle of something you think makes a good blending base. Yeah. Right. Um, every time, pull out two ounces and add two ounces. Pull out two ounces, add two ounces. The bottle's never 
empty. So it's just always... Right, you never pour out two ounces unless you're ready to fill two yeah. ounces. Yeah, yeah. Or pour four, add four, mm -hmm. right? And then uh, 10 rounds later, yeah. it's a blend of a blend of a blend, and you're yeah. always pouring out and adding a new, so, and it stays, it stay constantly changing. This is vaguely similar to like a Solera cask. Yeah, it totally is. Yeah, it's yeah. Solera cask infinity bottle. So for those that don't know, Solera cask is what? Solera cask is when you've got casks, say you've got a range of casks that are 5, 10, and 15 years old, and it's time to do a bottle. Uh, you take the 15-year-old bourbons and you empty them halfway, and you bottle a run of 15-year-old bourbon. Mm -hmm. Then you take the 10 and backfill the 15s until they're full again. Yeah. And then the empty space from the 10s, you fill with 5, and so on. Over time, those barrels that had 15 have the oldest whiskey getting older and older and older, and the youngest one never younger than 10. Yeah and you end up with this constant drain, fill, drain, fill, it helps with flavor profile consistency. A lot of wine does this. Yeah. Um, it's not common in whiskey, but Blade & Bow does it. Uh, another, basically the method that's gonna be right for you in terms of when and what to add is gonna come down to uh, how often you're buying new whiskeys, how often you wanna get into that infinity bottle. Another thing people often do is just make it a routine. Every time they open a new bottle, they're making a donation to their infinity bottle. Okay, this one I can't empty. But I think this bottle needs a little Irish, so I'm gonna add a little Irish. Mm -hmm. Is that a strong enough Irish to be noticeable? Yeah. This is turning into a good whiskey. Right now I'm just doing equal proportions of things unless I'm emptying a bottle. I haven't tried Isla yet. I'm gonna have to dance carefully with that animal. The Isla, that, I saw that comment over and over again. Uh, be careful with the peat. You know what, <laughs> be careful, two things. Be careful with peat. Here's what I discovered in our Blendageddons. Yeah. Be careful with peat, be careful with rye. Mm, okay. Rye can really take over everything. Uh, Raymond Ramos says flavored whiskeys too. Oh yeah, that's if, if you got flavored easy. whiskeys floating around your house, then that will totally dominate a lot of the other more natural flavors. Hey, I have a flavored whiskey in my pocket. That's... Look. You got a little... I got a little fireball. A fireball. I wonder where that came from. Speaking of... Yeah. You nice. like my new outfit? It's nice little outfit. This is my new uh, uniform. Yeah? It was a gift. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it was a gift from uh, Eddie Barnes. Eddie Barnes. The self-proclaimed tribe, tribe jester. jester. <laughs> right. He said, uh, hey, I decided you guys uh, simultaneously give you a gift and a punishment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, originally, I thought of Rex when I saw this because of his natural showmanship and his love of plumage. Dude, I can fake it for 15 minutes But it may be more fitting for Daniel because it is extra small. <laughs> now, I will tell you, this thing's giving me a well, wedgie right now. The tag says we. We, yeah, <laughs> hobbity. It does have a hood, doesn't it? Uh, it uh, hold on, so, so this is why I'm very excited about this. Hold oh on. no, why is there a zipper on the whole thing? Yes. No, yes. no, no, yes. no, 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 no! <laughs> All the way up, just just give the people what they want, Daniel. Yeah. I don't know if I can do it. Give the people what they want. Get my beard All in the way up. Oh, it stops right all there. The way oh. Yeah. oh god, my beard. Can you go all the way? No. You can, no, you can do it. I believe in you. All the way. Oh, dude. That's uh... <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> that's awkward. Yeah. Okay. So... Oh, you put the... You put the fireball in there. I'm dumping that shit. You dumped? You wasted yes. whiskey? Yes! That was just the glass. I didn't dump from this. Well, now I gotta... Okay, pour some of our Infinity Bottle out so I can know what I'm mixing this with. This is why it's so hard to maintain an infinity bottle. Yeah. Uh, another thing that um, you probably want to do. Oh, that's good. If you're fortunate enough to stumble upon an amazing whiskey blend in your infinity bottle, for you to be able to recreate that's kind of a big deal. No, nope, that's not. So, having a little notepad or just, you know, a sticky uh, somewhere on the bottle that you can keep track of what you put in there and how much you put in. Here's the thing. Mm. I just added a little too much of this rice, so I'm out less into the bottle. Yeah. But it made it taste more like cinnamon. Okay, and uh, try that. This? Mm-hmm. It's more like cinnamon, even though it has no fireball in it. Uh, and if you want to get really um, meticulous about it, then have like a, a funnel and the correct amount of pour. You're eyeballing this. I'm totally eyeballing totally this. Totally eyeballing this. You don't got to eyeball. You can get very specific amounts, and especially if you're Likely to want to recreate. Ooh. Now we're drinking this immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, a whiskey it, over time. Oh, it took over instantly. Of course, instantly it, it took you over. Put in a lot. No, I really didn't. Who knows why? So, uh, and one thing is true because it's true of all blending. One wrong move, and it can take a lot of additional stuff to blend that bad thing back out. Right. I'm just gonna go ahead and just pour all of the double chocolate Pritchard's bourbon in there. All right. Speaking of Moussel and his infinity bottle, he, was, he listed off what he has. 
Uh, he's got 40 whiskeys in there. Wow. 40 damn whiskey. That's about uh, an ounce, half ounce each. Yeah. Uh, Mahed was saying if, um, another thing to keep in mind is if you go through phases mm -hmm. in whiskey, then uh, for, you know, for example, if you're really into bourbon or if you're really into Irish, then that will absolutely dominate the blend. That will dominate the blend, yeah. So just being um, intentional about what you're putting in there. Angel's Envy. Angel's Envy. Eight. American single malts. Let's do McCarthy's. Okay, McCarthy's. Uh, another thing mentioned was if you have found what you deem to be the sweet spot of whiskey perfection, uh, you can cork the bottle and stop right there. You don't have to keep adding to it. Ten. So let's do Elijah Craig. Mm-hmm. Give me some scotch, damn it. One. Well, that helped. That's Isla. That's a nine. More bourbon. Knob Creek. All right, got a good firm hold on that knob. <laughs> That's a six. Hellcat Maggie. <laughs> it looks like one more. That's a three. Oh, that's the oh, that's the rare special edition. <laughs> We're gonna cap it off with this third one. Okay. This is with the number three. Nineteen-year-old Springbank. One. Show them. Of. 260 bottles going into an infinity bottle. Going into an infinity bottle. No, that does, that's not necessarily a mortal sin against whiskey because there's so many people who create infinity bottles with their best stuff. Yeah. Right? True. Are you ready? I'm ready. For your pour. Yeah. Of our infinity bottle. Mm hmm. There you go. Ooh. You know what, Daniel? It's, it smells like a really nice whiskey. It smells like Springbank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, um, uh, coffee hard candy. Oh, there's with the, a little mint and cherry. That can't decide what it wants to be. There's a little bit of smoke. This a, is a little bit of sherry. Bourbon sherry, trying to be, you know, rich, but it's cut off at the knees. It got flat, like a flat soda. It did. Bourbon sherry. That's cut, so weird. Cut off at the knees. It's flat. Yeah. It really is flat. Like there's no spiky, sharp, dramatic. That's weird. It really is weird. It's still tasty, but. I wouldn't hoard it. No, it does. It, it's the back end. You get halfway through, mm -hmm. and then everything just kind of gets, you know, <laughs> muted. I wonder if we let it sit for a while. If that'll change it. Let it sit. Good. Okay. That, that is the thing. Uh, it is the thing. If you let it sit, the individual components will start to marry together. All right, Daniel. We have a bit of a, a bit of a predicament here. A bit of a situation. Really? Yeah. Uh, we have started this infinity bottle. Yeah. Who gets to keep it? Mm, can, can we split it? Well, like in the two not smaller a, bottles. It's an infinity bottle, not a baby. Can we share? <laughs> just like, just like Solomon said. <laughs> yes. Cut it in half. It's a baby. You both get it. half. Okay, I propose. All right. I'm gonna go up to the top of the tower up there. Okay. And you're gonna go down to the bottom of the canyon over there. We have this awesome setup. Hold the action glass. Okay. We'll be able to tell. There's no cheating. Hey, Daniel. Hey, what? What you doing? I'm waiting for my whiskey. So, to see who gets the bottle, we're gonna put Daniel to the test to see if his skills are up to snuff. During the episode, he was pouring directly into the bottle, but he had the glass pressed right up against it. It was, it was pitiful. It was embarrassing. Truly skilled whiskey professional would be able to make the droplets land in a container from a great distance. Daniel's down there at the bottom. Say something! Uh, that would take a second to wake up. GoPro's a go. Yes, whiskey me. <laughs> okay, I got this. Go, try not to let this fall on your head. Yeah, don't yeah, drop don't the drop bottle. Off. You gotta get some distance. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Come on, baby. Wait. Well, I got like four on my head. <laughs> Did you get any in there? No. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. I need a second try. <laughs> no, it's that one try. No, I need a second try. Come on. All right, but this one doesn't count. This one's just for honor. <laughs> Come on, baby! Are you ready? One more? Yep. Come on! 
Yes! <laughs> I, got I got multiple, multiple drops. drops! All right, too bad that didn't count. That totally counts. <laughs> we split it halvesies. Ooh, mine. You want one last sip before it goes to my house? I'm busy drinking away my sorrows at my loss. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, it was a valiant effort. Can I have a little uh, of the blend? Of my blend? Of my infinity bottle? Give of my hard fought? <laughs> hard fought. This was a day, by the way. It sat for a day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm getting more of the bourbon now. Me too. I like that better than yesterday. Oh, it's more complex. Yes, it's it's uh, the complexity came back. The back half got springy, and a little bit of cinnamon in there. Woo! A little bit of cinnamon. You Dang got all the, it! The sherry and the oak and the bourbon notes, and then the peat that was kind of you know showing up. It's and lingering in the back now. It's lingering in the back. It, it was throwing itself, throwing its weight around yesterday. Yeah. This turned out to be pretty damn good. And we need the drink too. Here, get a glass. On the Whiskey Vault channel, do not forget on Saturday, July 14th, we're doing a live stream. We'll let you know what we'll time. We'll pick a time. Yeah. yeah, we'll pick a time. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, you fight for a friend. You remember the next one? May you steal a lover's heart. There you go. And if you Close drink, <laughs> may you drink with us. us.